did you and Sasha initially meet through wrestling before you were in WWE? Because you guys have been together for some time. Yeah, I uh, I was wrestling for Chaotic Wrestling out in you know, Boston back in the day, uh, back when I was like just doing ROH and stuff like that. Yeah. And around 2010, uh, she was training at Chaotic, and we would just run and cross paths at shows. And it was it was it wasn't until I was walking by one day she was talking to someone else, and I heard her mention Korean movies, uh-huh. and in my head Here I was like, "Who's it?" Yeah, I was like, Who's yeah, Puerto Rican girl it. that likes Korean movies?" <laughs> That's what I thought. I had no idea she was like, you know, who yeah. she was related to, all this different stuff. Sure. But then yeah, I just started talking and figured out we had a lot in common, and it just it snowballed from there. Sure did. It sure yeah. did snowball. Um, what was your first date like? Um, I don't know if it was considered a date, but we, uh, uh, she met one day. I, so I used to work overnights, uh, in the ice cream factory, you know, one ice morning, cream factory. What a f- job that is. Yeah, I worked third shift, making ice cream for a living for a decade. <laughs> oh my God. What? 2000, like from 2003 to 2012, when we moved to Florida, I was working at an ice cream factory. Listen, we're going to circle back to the dating thing in one quick second. Let's stay on the ice cream right now, because I know that you are a food lover. I know that you are a hell of a, you get to business in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Did Mm -hmm. you ever concoct some wacky flavors? What kind of things did you do working in ice cream for a decade? All right. So uh, I didn't really concoct any like crazy flavors, but I'm not going to say the company name. Those who know me know what company I worked for, but there was one time I pitched this idea for a, uh, a, a s'mores ice cream and it was called campfire s'mores ice cream. Uh-huh. And like, they, they kind of just brushed it off, whatever. And then like a year and a half later, all of a sudden they had a s'mores ice cream. And I was like, Hmm, what's going on? What and then, the? And then also like, so on the tail end of my time there, probably like 2010, 2011, I was pitching to them like, Hey, we need to do a, a, a protein heavy ice cream like mm. low lactose high in protein because that's going to be the rage and it yes. kind of just fell on deaf ears they just kept going towards like low fat half the fat and then like a year or two later all you saw was the the halo ice cream mm-hmm. the, all the soy ice cream that was like yeah. high in protein and i was like we could have we could have had that that could have been their market yeah oh my gosh okay who makes the what's your favorite ice cream who is your favorite ice cream brand you have brand loyalty uh, so my favorite ice cream, I don't have a specific brand. My favorite ice cream, like forever, is going to be Friendly's Cookies and Cream Ice Cream. I've never had this. What's never, Friendly's? Well, Friendly's is, a, is an East Coast brand. It's, okay. It's all on the East Coast. They have restaurants. And uh, there's probably, there's one restaurant in Florida. They close a lot of restaurants now, but you'll find like their, their ice creams in like Stop and Shop or some, certain stores. You'll find their ice cream cakes. They're, they used to have this Jubilee roll that would come out every Christmas and like mm. that was that's that was a staple in New England, uh, you know, households during the holidays. A uh, nice jubilee roll. Oh my god! Have you ever had Jenny's ice cream? No, what's Jenny's ice cream? So Jenny's Jenny's I'm obsessed with. They are fantastic, and so they do new lines pretty often. But I connected with them when they did a line with Dolly Parton, and me being like an avid Dolly Parton fan, they're like, "Can we send yeah. you some of this?" I was like. Yeah, you can. Um, so they send me their ice cream, but now they keep sending them when they do different lines. They have like the, you know, they do like a summertime line with like different popsicle flavors. Um, during the holidays, they had like cognac and butterscotch and coffee with sugar and cream, like these amazing, beautiful ice creams. Um, but they're actually based out of Columbus, which I didn't know until I moved here. And I was like, oh shit, you can get Jenny's like kind of everywhere here. Yeah. It's awesome. I highly recommend it. Um, I'm also in a group chat with, um, with Josh Gallegos, Becky, yeah. Seth, Josh's girlfriend that is merely dedicated to ice cream. Is it like um, salt and straw? So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they've, they've always told me about it. I've just never like had a chance to go. Everybody, everybody raves about it, especially being in Orlando. Like unless I'm buying it at the store, there's not, there's actually not a lot of like ice cream options in Orlando. Right. Right. But, but I have fallen in love with Jeremiah's Italian ice. Okay. It's like this, it's a soft serve swirl okay. with like Italian ice and it is cracked. Like literally <laughs> I've had it enough times where I'd go there, I'd order and I'm like, you know what? I need to franchise one of these places and put it in like <laughs> Texas or some shit. Yes. 
I actually think that a lot when I'm somewhere, I'm like, we should franchise a Tim Hortons here. John wants to franchise Skylines everywhere. We happen to be in Cincinnati now, so we certainly don't have to. But when we were in Vegas, that was a thing. He's like, there should be, we should do like a Skyline Tim Hortons franchise combination. Well, like like Long John Silver and Pizza Hut? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Yes. Uh, Okay. Lovers of ice cream. I actually like, I've always had like a full savory palate until I got pregnant. And now I just, I'm still have a sweet tooth. Um, ice, cream, ice cream is my favorite dessert. Like if I'm ordering dessert at a restaurant, if it comes a la mode, then yeah. I'm going to order that. Like, cause it's, you know, it's got the vanilla bean. Oh my God. I yeah. do. I do. Our, our freezer, I'll send you a picture after this. Our freezer looks like, I mean, we do have a child that lives here. It looks like we run a preschool with how much ice cream we have in our freezer. It's comical. It's I, Bad. I try to keep it out of my freezer just because I know I'll eat it all like in one sitting. I know I'll eat it all. So I try to keep it out. But uh, a couple of weeks ago, my brother was in town and like I had to leave to Saudi Arabia. Mm. And like so I was gone and uh, Mercedes was gone. So he was at our place by himself. And then when we get when I get back, I just see all this Klondike bars <laughs> in my freezer. Like, damn it. And then in two days, the rest of it was gone. I was like, man, listen, can't be trusted. <laughs> I know yeah. it's deadly. Yeah. Um, okay. Back to the love and relationship. So the first date that you say wasn't really a first date. Um, so, yeah. So when did, when did was, the romance happen? When did you get out of the friend zone? I don't, I don't know. I'll be honest with you. I think it just kind of just grew over time. Like I, I just remember that first date, like, I, again, I was working, I was home from work at seven in the morning. And I just, it's one of those days where I happened to not go to bed when I got home. Mm-hmm. And then I was talking with her on AIM. Oh, hell yeah. Those, yeah, that's, that's, that's where everyone there. got fresh. That's yeah. where all <laughs> dreams came true. <laughs> and then I was just, yeah, I was just like, hey, uh, I, I feel like going to Chinatown in Boston. You want to meet me there? And she was like, yeah. So I drove to Boston. We met up in Chinatown. We just walked around, looked at Korean movies, hung out. Uh, we got boba tea. I got her her first bowl of pho. And oh, that was it. That was history was made. That's that. I don't think, yeah. It never felt like a hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like woo this girl. It was just right. kind of something that just blossomed over time. Oh, uh, yeah. John and I were kind of similar to that too. Like, we, I mean, yes, and no, like we spent so much time talking. And then the first time we actually, because I was like, we were talking so much that I was mm. like, either we're just best friends or someone's got to pull the trigger here. And then the first time we yeah. like actually hung out, hung out, we like stayed up just talking until like four in the morning, like sitting on opposite couches, just like <laughs> nerds in a room yeah. hanging out. And it's like, someone better make a move here or uh, <laughs> we'll just come up with a secret handshake, I guess. Yeah. He made I, mean, yeah it's, I mean, that, I mean, I think, I think the best relationships are born from friendships. Like Agreed. you can't, you, you got to be friends with the person because if you don't, if you can't do friend things with them, how are you going to do marriage stuff with them? It's 100%. Not- you have to have someone you can just like hang out with. You, you like, it's one thing to be able to like hang out in romantic situations and also still to like keep that aspect of a relationship alive for sure. But also yeah. like when you're just, yeah, you want someone you're just like living life with. Not everything is uh, the notebook all the time. Yeah. You want to just be able to like shoot the shit, hang out yeah. and just like purely enjoy each other's company. Yeah, I feel like you need to you need to find someone who just you just enjoy their company. You just enjoy yeah. being around them, but at the same time, that they make you want to make the effort to be like, I want to, yeah. I want to do something that makes everybody impressed by you. Yeah, that makes sense. Like, I yeah. want to, I want to, I want, I want to get dressed up and look real nice for you. Yeah, I at like the same that. time. I just want to, you know, sit in the backyard and you know, put the fire pit on and go. That is my favorite thing since we've moved to Cincinnati. That's all we've been doing. It's like having little fire pits and we just get to hang out outside and have on some music. It's, it's just the best. Those are like my favorite kind of hangouts where you're not really doing much of anything together, but just hanging out. But do you guys explore the food scene in Cincinnati? Cause there's some good stuff there. There's some great stuff here and we have not yet, but our anniversary is on Saturday and we're going out to this really cool looking Italian restaurants. So it, it's, we're now in that mode. Now that Nora's a little bit older too, I'm like, we got to start like at least a couple times a month, go out, yeah. go be Renee and John, not just yeah. mom and dad. And like, let's do, we got to do that. Cause yeah, yeah. it's hard. You get, you know, you've getting like mom and dad mode. The baby goes to bed so early. We're like, all right, she's sleeping. We'll either watch the show we're watching or go outside and hang with the dogs and just sit and have like a little bonfire or something, which is great. 
But yeah, yeah. It's, I need to put on an outfit because I'm constantly in sweats and I need to remind not only him, but like mostly myself. Yeah. But a bitch can still throw down. Never yeah. forget. Coming I'm, in I'm, hot. 